if you really want to hear something interesting, I want you to hear uh, uh, one of the major Democratic senators in the country, Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, in 2004, on Is Torture Ever Okay? Okay? One of the leaders of the Democratic Party, 2004, and I congratulate whoever got this, uh, got this recording. Here we go. And I'd like to try to interject a note of balance here. Uh, there are times when we all get in high dudgeon. We ought to be reasonable about this. I think there are probably very few people in this room or in America who would say that torture should never, ever be used, particularly if thousands of lives are at stake. Take the hypothetical. If we knew that there was a nuclear bomb hidden in an American city, and we believe that some kind of torture, fairly severe maybe, would give us a chance of finding that bomb before it went off? My guess is most Americans and most senators, maybe all, would say, do what you have to do. So it's easy to sit back in the armchair and say that torture can never be used. But when you're in the foxhole, it's a very different deal. And obviously with terror, everybody is in the foxhole. That, that's the point that needs to be, of course, uh, restated. Now, his, his, that's why I find, I find it so typical of the left to divide the world into pro-torture and anti-torture. This is how they characterize people. But, of course, they get very angry if anybody ever accuses pro-choice people of being pro-abortion. They call these people simplistic. We're not pro-abortion. We're simply pro-choice. But, but when it comes to torture, that anybody, what Char, Charles Schumer is now pro, pro, to be labeled pro-torture. If you ever regard it as moral, ever, even if it's only waterboarding, and yes, I say only waterboarding because if you know what torture is, uh, then you have to say that there have to be levels of torture. Oh, otherwise, the word becomes raped of its meaning. When, when Al-Qaeda killed fellow Iraqis, they put drills into their body. Would you rather be waterboarded or drilled? I mean, please, folks, please. Why, why do we have to lose common sense? Well, there is an answer, and I, and I hate to say it, but it... The answer, the answer is because agendas are greater than morality. That's why people lose common sense. It's as simple as that. And for the left, the agenda is to discredit the right. That is the great agenda. 1-8-Prager-776, 1-8-P-R-A-G-E-R-776. What a disgusting charge, pro-torture. By the way, I, I just might note that, in effect, the people who are, say, torture, no form of any torture is ever okay, might well be called pro-mass murder. And that would be, of course, that would be entirely dishonest to do that, but you might as well do it. Because what if your choice is waterboarding or mass murder? Then you say, I choose mass murder because waterboarding is always wrong, correct? Isn't that what you're saying? Those of you who are against it under all circumstances, you are saying that between mass murder and waterboarding, you prefer mass murder of innocence. So you can be labeled pro-mass murder. This is the level to which the the left has reduced dialogue in America, but it's it's done on every issue. Against affirmative action, you're you're pro-racist. You're for marriage being between a man and a woman. You are (laughs) pro-bigotry. And that's it. That's it for dialogue. And then you wonder why people don't think clearly. Because they went to college and they were taught by the left. And they watched the news and they were informed by the left. 1 8 Prager 776. This is the Dennis Prager Show. You're listening to the Dennis Prager Show. I played for you the just concluded press conference of Nancy Pelosi. Somebody will look bad after this, and I I make no predictions as to whom. 
Some of you, I'm sure, are certain that she's lying, and some are certain that the CIA is lying, and I'm not certain about anything. Uh, But I'm certain that it needs to be addressed. You can't accuse the Republicans of being pro-waterboarding when you were equally pro-waterboarding. I mean, it, it, it's it's that's why this is such a relevant issue. This is not politics. This is this is simple morality. And uh, let's go to uh, let's go to Andre in Pasadena, California. Hello, Andre Dennis Prager. Hi, Mr. Prager. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you for calling. Yes, uh, when Armenia was fighting Azerbaijan in 1991, my father was in that war, and his friend. Uh, uh, other people, they got him hostage, and, you know, those uh, radical Muslim extremist people, and they tortured him. They they just took his nails out from his hands and, and his toes. They injected the kerosene in his kidneys, and they broke every single bone in his body. And uh, when that man returned, returned home, he never recovered mentally and physically. He was just tortured all his life. Nor- normally, I wouldn't have these things on the air, but because we live in the age of moral idiocy, it's important, Andre, that you made this call and people hear what we think of as torture. The left has utterly cheapened the term, as they have cheapened rape, as they have cheapened racism, as they have cheapened xenophobia. They cheapen everything. And uh, oh, they cheapened concentration camp by calling Gaza concentration camp. The left has raped language. It has done it since Marx, and it is doing it today because truth is secondary to winning against the right. And so what we have now is waterboarding, which is awful. Of course it's awful. It's meant to be awful. But it is in a different category. Its intention is not to induce Extru- excruciating pain, it induces panic. And uh, it's awful. It's awful. Uh, Christopher Hitchens agreed to undergo it. If you recall, I saw the I saw the video of Christopher Hitchens undergoing it. It, it took a few seconds to till, you know, till he gave up, which is fully understandable. And and he spoke that against it. I, I have respect for, for Christopher Hitchens, though we differ profoundly on many issues. But I, I respect him. He has he has moral courage. And uh, would he have willingly undergone what this man's relative in Ar- Armenia underwent? Here, take out one nail. Just take out one nail. Just inject that amount into my kidneys. Just break one bone. 